Asana, we started with a hypothetical scenario in which our patient reported chronic symptoms of non-specific nature, including malaise, poor appetite, weight loss, recurring fever, general aches and pains. After having carried out this general examination, we have not honed into any possible signs and symptoms that would lead us to a diagnosis. What possible options do you have now that you can pursue? Well, in a real clinical encounter, the clinician would be constructing a scheme of a differential diagnosis based on the emerging probabilities. With this case, um, after examining the patient, I would start with some basic and general profiles, and depending on, on these findings, I would extend these further. Initial blood tests that can be done include a full blood count with hematinics, renal function, liver function, thyroid function, inflammatory markers such as an ESR or a CRP, bone profile, um, and if indicated, an autoimmune profile. Thank you. Now, let's say these results have come back and nothing is indicative of a particular pathology. What would be your next step in this scenario? Well, the most important thing is a follow-up of the patient. Um, when you see them again, you may need to re-examine the patient and also look at what the results of the blood tests are. In the light of new information that may emerge, I would revisit my differential diagnosis and attempt to reach a working diagnosis. If this was not possible, having eliminated weaker hypotheses, I would review my differential diagnosis and perhaps consider further diagnostic investigations or referral. Dr. Safa. Thank you very much for your valuable contribution in this procedure. May I also thank our volunteer patient for her contribution too.